Hey, random bandit. Uh, yeah. Check out this new sword I got. Awesome. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? It's called Frostmourne. Now, what does it do? Well, it does this. Oh, jeez. Dude, stop. Okay, okay, I get it. It's a freaking sword. Stop, dude. Come on, man. Come on. Please stop. Okay, okay. Ha. <laughs> That's what does. Dude, what the fuck, man? What was that about? What's up guys, this is GP75 Motorsports here and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Yeah, yeah, Serana, go over there please. Um, so anyway, yeah, so anyway, yeah, as you can see we are here in this freaking, uh, badass house. Um, yeah, this is a house, it is, uh, hold on, let me check a second, I completely forgot. Uh, Whispering Waters Barrow, this freaking, uh, badass house mod that I got I mean it is freaking gorgeous look at that but that's not why we're here um you want to take a guess while why we're here well of course you know you read the video title <laughs> um so yeah this is a so this is a two-in-one review uh kind of like my three-in-one review uh just need to make sure my game didn't freeze there because this is a freaking stupidly resource demanding area but anyway so yeah the mods we're going to review today uh alfheim knights by j gray bear um and bigger and badder lich king armor collector's edition by lucifer x10 say that five times fast yeah both of these are on the skyrim nexus um so first off is the alfheim knights armor pretty freaking cool stuff here let me tell you um, it comes with four sets of, uh, it comes with four sets of armor, the champion set, the knight set, uh, Alfheim guard, uh, and Alfheim guard tempered. Um, the champion set is male only, the knight set possibly male only, uh, he didn't, the, uh, um, the creator didn't, the creator didn't specify whether that's, you know, male only or not. Uh, Alfheim Guard is male and female, and Alfheim Guard is probably uh, both male and female. Uh, one thing to note that as of this recording, the uh, the uh, Alfheim Guard armor, uh, the female version, is not uh, slider compatible. So you can adjust all the frigging white sliders, whatever, uh, however much you want. It's not going to show up with the uh, Alfheim Guard on armor on your female character. Um, so yeah, I tried my best to match up the uh, to match up the sets here because they're not. Uh, well, it, it's weird because like here we've got uh, on this mannequin we've got uh, an Alfheim officer tempered helmet. But, yeah, do that. <laughs> but the thing is, is there's no uh, Alfheim uh, armor. Alfheim officer armor. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. that. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I've tried to match those things up. You know, just things like that. Things like... 
um, you know, like one piece of armor being in a set that none of the other pieces of armor are in. If you get what I'm saying, I'm not entirely sure um, if that's, you know, if I'm making any sense at all uh, right here. So, yeah, again, on this mech, and we have the uh, Alfheim uh, guard tempered armor, the guard tempered boots, the guard tempered gauntlets. Uh, and the officer tempered helmet, and the uh, sweet Alfheim elf ears that come with it, and the uh, guard tempered shield. So yeah, I'm gonna get as close up to this as I can. Just look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's. This is seriously like one of the best um, armor mods I think I've freaking ever seen. I mean, look how close I am, and that texture is just holding up super close. And beyond that, just look, just the aesthetic of this is just freaking insane. Like, this is just a freaking beast set of armor here. Not terribly lore-friendly, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice trade-off for this, because just holy crap balls look at that and, and it's got that sort of bird sort of hawk uh, thing right there on the collar pretty freaking cool nice uh, see-through shield that l just looks awesome just the whole set looks just freaking badass and, you know especially in the in this sort of line condition it's not something I chose but hey Oh, man, that's some pretty freaking cool armor there. And moving on, we uh, we've got the um, we've got the uh, guard, the regular guard armor, which is basically the uh, tempered armor, except um, except, and you know you can only see this in certain lighting conditions, but the uh, but the sort of uh, the sort of trim, if you will, the glass is light blue. And that's a that's a different color, sort of more green. Um, and here for the helmet, for the uh, I believe this is the officer, uh, the uh, guard helmet. Yeah, it's basically just a standard retextured um, uh, elven helmet, nothing too special, and uh, another retextured elven shield. Is that the? No, that's not the same one. I don't believe. Yeah, that is the. Uh, guard shield exactly so yeah again pretty much the same as that one over there still freaking cool in its own right yeah just really really awesome and over here we have sort of the mage set um this is the uh cloth curious uh with the alfheim hood and the wood shield just because uh so yeah just typical sort of mage stuff it looks like one of the, uh, one of the, it looks like a retextured version of one of the mage outfits. Uh, I forget what you call it. I may have one in my inventory, but, you know, you don't want to watch too much uh, menu surfing, do you? So, yeah, still, uh, really, really high quality texture. I mean, that's still holding up this close, and that's as close as I can get to it without TFC. So, yeah just wow at the frigging texture resolution that has got to be 2048 by 2048 absolutely insane you get real close up you see that's a little bit blurry there but whatever still f amazingly good looking and last but not least um this is the uh guard tempered armor again but with the officer helmet so yeah not too, not too much. Uh, I get the feeling that the uh, cheat console may have skipped over something when it was listing all the uh, all the items uh, that are in you know they're in the uh, Alfheim Knight set because they're supposed to be the two uh, the two guard sets and then the knights and then the champions so. For whatever reason, those just didn't show up when I was, um, when I was uh, looking for them in the cheats console. But yeah, so 
Anyway, all the freaking weaponry that comes with this mod is just insane. The amount of weapons over there. Yeah, you know, in this mod. I mean, look at all this. Um, and this may not be all of the, all of the, uh, items, again, because of the same sort of problem that I was having with the, you know, with not all the, um, armor and stuff showing up in the, uh, cheats console. So I don't know what that's about, but anyway, here, so, uh, here we have the, uh, Alfheim, uh, Warhammer, uh, uh, 30 damage. That is pretty freaking insane. Other than that, again, a standard sort of retextured, um, uh, Elven Warhammer. Uh, so throw that over there so we don't. Yeah, there we go. And then, so the wooden sword, again, retextured, uh, Elven sword. Still looks awesome, though. I mean, I really love. Sort of, sort of the uh, contrasting green and gold, and just you know the light details on the on the blade itself that look really, really badass. I mean, just holy cow! Look at that. Um, in fact, if we can TFC, uh, not TC TFC one, and get real up close to it. Yeah ungodly texture resolution. I'm just awestruck by this superb detail, especially along the edges there. Just wow, wow, wow. This texture is freaking amazing. Look at that. This guy is a freaking texture god. He has to be. Anyway, so moving on. Dropping that there. We have the, uh, that, uh, that's not a, that's not a weapon of any sort. Uh, the Alpha MGL War Mace. Uh, retextured, uh, again, uh, re with the retexture, wow. Uh, this is a retextured, uh, Elven, uh, Warhammer, so, uh, War Mace. So, I'm gonna TFC for that as well. See how close we can get. Look at that. That's how close we're able to get to this any further. Uh, can we zoom out just slowly? Yeah. We're pretty much touching it with the camera and it still holds up. That is just what? This has to be a higher resolution texture than anything in the JC Sword Pack. I mean, that is just ungodly. I mean, yes, it's a retextured item, but just wow, does it look cool. Jeez. I'm freaking awestruck by that texture. And so yeah, dropping that, we have the uh, Alfheim Tempered Arrow. Uh, just a standard arrow. Nothing too special about it. Um, Alfheim Arrows. Again, just standard arrows. Uh, with a retextured quiver, though, so pretty cool. Um, yeah. If you and by the way, if you want to, uh, if you want to take a look at the damage stats for these things, uh, then by all means, when I hover over the over them, feel free to pause the video and take a look at the stats. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're pretty high for these uh, Alfheim, uh, for these Alfheim. Uh, weapons but not really unbalanced so I do like that that's that's pretty cool uh, the Alfheim greatsword here um, uh, that I may be completely wrong but that looks like a slightly new model uh, that maybe uh, whoa wow <laughs> that may be slightly based off of the uh, off of the elven greatsword too hard to tell but yeah uh, Nothing special about that. It's just basically an upscale version of... Well, the pommel is just a different version of that. Um, that war hammer there. So, yeah. Nothing too special about that. And where did it go? There it is. Yep. But, you know, I may as well TFC up to it to see... 
you know, just to give you a better idea how good it looks up close. After all, why not? Yeah. There you go. Still. Freaking, freaking awesome. Um, and over here, yeah, uh, this is all the stuff we have left. No, uh, that's all the stuff we've gone over. Um, so yeah, don't mind that pile of frost morns over there. <laughs> don't mind the pile of extremely valuable swords over there. We'll get to those in a minute, I promise. Um, Alfheim ice arrows. There's the quiver. Yawn. Pretty much the same stuff you'd expect. Freaking amazing texture and all. And then the uh, battle axe. Yeah, there you go. Tell me that doesn't look beast. I mean, that looks absolutely beast. I would hate to go up against somebody with this thing. I mean, Jesus. There you go, right up close there. And then, yeah, again, uh, again, a retextured, a, re a really, really, really well retextured, um, uh, elven battle axe. Which I always liked the look of that weapon. I thought it was really cool. Uh, so yeah, you go over there and the pile of stuff that we've already reviewed. And, uh, the last two weapons, yes. The Alfheim GL War Axe, basically just a scaled-down version of the Battle Axe with a slightly, uh, different mesh. So, yeah. Oh, one thing that I noticed, too, Transparent Blade. I wonder if the, uh, other one has that as well. Where is it? Uh, no, it doesn't. So, yeah. Look at that transparent blade. I'm going to hold it up to this fire here. Just so you can see. That is freaking cool. Wow. Dude. That is amazing. And, uh, of course, the obligatory TFC. Right up to it. So you can admire, once again, how close the textures hold up. Just Wow. And that goes over there, and that leads only the dagger. Yeah. Uh, again, nothing too special. Looks pretty much just like every other weapon in the mod. Though that's a good thing. Um, and I don't feel the need to mention that this is a retextured elven uh, item again, because I've said that enough already, and the texture... Also, herds up, holds up absurdly close herds up. So yeah, basically the same stuff that you would expect from this mod, except equally as awesome. And there you go! That is all I was able to uh, view of the Alfheim Knights mod by J. Greybear. Absolutely insane mod, as you can see by these freaking armors here just... Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Um, and the weapons too, just holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Yeah, just freaking amazing. Easily one of the best uh, retexturing sort of packs that I've ever, ever, ever seen in Skyrim. Just crazy. Um, other stuff that you need to know... Um, there are, aside from like the elven ears that I equipped, there are, ver there are various other bits uh, that you can craft under the elven section at the forge, um, you know, to decorate your armor even, even further if this is not enough style for you. Because that would be enough style for me. Yeah, just look at that. Uh, and, uh... You also should know the freaking download size, which is just ungodly for an armor slash weapon set. 
147,579 kilobytes. Yeah. Absolutely insane. But it's all freaking worth it when you get to wear armor like this and this. And you get to wield weapons like this and this and this. And so yeah, just highly, 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 highly recommended mod. Get it. You owe it to yourself if you're a Skyrim player. Uh, so yeah. The next mod. In case you didn't take the hint from me telling you to uh, ignore the pile of Frostmorns. Dun dun dun! <laughs> yeah, it is the Lich King from the World of Warcraft expansion pack, Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah, pretty freaking insane. Of course, I don't play uh, World of Warcraft, um, so I don't know much about this guy, but I do know his name is Arthas, and that he's freaking evil, but there's armor, looks totally freaking badass. Yeah, look at this armor. Just I I always like I always really liked uh, the Lich King's armor when I, you know when I would, like watch him in a promotional video or some or something. Uh, yeah, just really really aggressive looking. If you're a World of Warcraft fan, then um, there's not much else to say. Um, but, yeah, just look at this, and if we can come around the back side here, the cloak, obviously, because this is Skyrim, it's not animated, but, yeah, so, uh, this is actually, as far as, uh, as far as, you know, stuff that comes with the mod, uh, at least if you get all three, um, yeah, at least if you get, like, the, uh, if you at least get the main file and both add-ons, it's even bigger than uh, than the uh, Alfine than the Alfine uh, mod. So yes. So what we have here is just a freaking insane amount of stuff for basically the same amount of. You know, for basically the same armor set. Well, what am I talking about? Well, this mod comes with four versions of the Lich King's armor. Uh, normal, which I think is what you see here. Uh, the smaller belt, the capless, capless with smaller belt. Uh, three additional versions are available in the Lich King Collector's Edition. Uh, three additional armor variants add-on file. In fact, I'm going to open up my inventory here so you can see uh, all the uh, all the uh, Lich King armor that comes with the mod. Um, so yeah, we've got um, we've got the uh, plate of the damned, which he usually wears. The capless and small belt version that I believe that comes with the. Uh, collector's edition um the uh capless version the capless small belt extra small shoulders uh version that comes with the collector's edition the uh, king's plate of the damned uh the well not the king's plate of the damned but just the play of the damned capless smaller shoulders and yeah just all this all together comes, you know, all this all together is what you will get if you get both the, uh, both the main file and the, uh, Lich King Collector's Edition, three additional armor variants, uh, add-on file. So, yeah, uh, total of six versions of the Lich King's, uh, signature plate there. And then, uh, there are three helmet versions as well. The Lich King... Uh, the Lich King's helmet with the Lich King's male hood with the shadow mask. All of those are uh, separate items. Uh, so there's the Lich King's mask, the Warlord version. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't... Where's the... Huh. Oh, yeah, I gave him all the mannequin. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah. 
So here we have the Lich King's boots, uh, his gauntlets, his freaking awesome helmet, his uh, regular male hood, and uh, his shadow mask, which is what he uses in the, um, which he, which is what he uses, you know, his regular armor set, and then the Lich King's plate of the damned, which is also what he uses with his regular armor set. Uh, so, possible ways that you can include, that you can combine all of the Lich King sort of helmet stuff. Um, I've already listed the first one. Uh, the second one, the Lich King's helmet, and the Lich King's male hood, and the Warlord mask, and the Lich King's helmet, and the Lich King's skull, uh, skull are the three ones that the uh, author recommends. Um, but obviously you can mix and match these, just expect lots of clipping and just general, uh, nasty, not good lookingness. Um, so yeah, there's not much else to say. I mean, it looks freaking amazing. However, the texture doesn't seem to hold up quite as closely and, uh, because it's so huge, you can sort of clip through the, uh, shoulder guard, the, uh, shoulder guard there. Other than that, uh, I believe that's about it. I mean, just wow, look look at this. Tell me you would not want to walk around like this. I mean, looking like this. This is just badass in every single, in every single conceivable way. I mean, yeah, just look at that helmet. He's like standing there saying, yeah, screw me now. Screw me now! What you got? What you got? Oh, Frostmourne up your gut! Ah! Uh, speaking of Frostmourne, yes! In the game, there's one. In this mod, there's six. <laughs> yeah, six Frostmourns. Look at all of them. Uh, three of these come with the mod. Uh, come with the uh, regular version of the mod. Uh, the one-handed, the two-handed, and... The uh, two-handed special versions come with the mod, and then uh, those are all enchanted uh, with the uh, Soul Devour enchantment. However, the um, however the three additional versions of Frostmourne without Soul Devour um, adds three additional versions of Frostmourne without Soul Devour. Um, so yeah, there they are. Uh, that's what a two-handed one looks like. Just holy cow. And look at, look at the, uh, freaking awesome, uh, smoke, uh, sort of, uh, frost, uh, frost smoke coming off of it. I'm gonna TFC. So you can, well, I thought it would still be animated when I just did regular TFC, but apparently not. But yeah. That sword, dude. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Say what you will about the fro the uh Frost King. The Lich King. He has a freaking badass blade and freaking badass armor. And he himself is a freaking badass from what I hear. So yeah. All the stuff that you see in the game here, the runes. The glowing runes, the glowing face, everything, the sort of ram horns. And let's see how close we can get up to the, uh, do it with, an, even with it holding up. That's about as close as we can get. Doesn't hold up quite as, uh, uh quite as closely as the, uh, as the, um, other, uh, as the other alpha... Alfheim Knights, Alf, Alfheim Knights, Alfheim Knights, uh, weapons, yeah, and, uh, and armor, uh, yeah, I completely just forgot the name of the mod there for a second, uh, I don't know why I for forgot the name of the mod, but that's neither here nor there, the point is, Frostmourne is badass. Look at that. And um, there's your one-handed version. 
for some reason, the uh, first about third of the blade clips through the terrain, as you can see. But other than that, it's amazing. Yeah, the uh, one-handed version, basically just the scaled-down version of the uh, two-handed version, as you can see, is basically just taken it and reduced the size and blender and... Uh, you could call that lazy if you want to, but I call it consistent. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, three versions, like I said, come with the mod. Uh, those all have the Soul Devour enchant. And then three versions uh, come with the uh, come with the uh, three additional versions of Frostmourne without Soul Devour add-on version. Uh, so, stats, yes. Uh, the main file, 92,606 kilobytes. Uh, not small, exactly, but not as freaking big as the other mod. Uh, and if you want just the, uh, if you want just the main file, then, you know, that's what you'll get. Uh, with only the three additional versions of Frostmourne without Soul Devour, uh, the mod size in total will be 92,613 kilobytes, and with only the Lich King Collector's Edition, uh, three additional armor variants will be 101,215 kilobytes. Uh, the three additional versions of Frostmourne is 7 kilobytes itself, and the Lich King Collector's Edition, you know, additional armor variants, is 8,609 kilobytes. Uh, so yeah, all three, 1,222 kilobytes, uh, which is about two-thirds the size of the other mod. Uh, and one final thing about this, if you're going to get, uh, you know, about the, uh, about the Lich King, uh, set, if you're going to get it, and you're going to get one of the other versions as well, um, then, uh, do not forget this. Please, um, when you, uh, when you install one of the add-ons, it will, uh, you know, after installing the main, uh, the main file, um, when you're installing one of the add-ons, it'll ask you if you want to upgrade if you're using the Nexus Mod Manager. Select No. And then, uh, and then for the first one that you install, for the first add-on that you install, it shouldn't ask you, it should not ask you if you uh, want to overwrite some files. The second uh, add-on that you install probably will. Uh, so if you want to use both of those concurrently, then uh, select yes to all when you're installing it uh, with the mod manager. Uh, so yeah, Whew. that was a heck of a... <laughs> That was a heck of a video. I mean, jeez. It's 31 minutes and 22 seconds long. And, yeah, wow. So, I'm, as you can tell, I'm just completely enraptured by both of these mods. They are both freaking badass. Both easily some of the best armor mods I've ever seen for Skyrim as a Skyrim player. Uh, if you own a PC, then you owe it to yourself to get one or both of these and run around with your elven armor like this. You're freaking... <laughs> there we go again. Uh, Alfheim elven armor and your freaking badass Frostmourne. Or uh, take the Lich King's armor and, uh, you know, one of these weapons over here and go wreak havoc and just generally enjoy all of this stuff because you will enjoy this the lich king demands it but seriously go get this stuff you will not be disappointed it's freaking insane and that's all i have to say about that finally um uh the links to the mod will be to the mods will be in the description below um and I think I may cover this uh, sort of freaking awesome house in another video. Well, not so much a house, is it, as a sort of cave that you live in. Uh, kind of like my room, in fact. But yeah, so I may cover this sort of cave 
in um, another video. So if you want, if you if you guys want me to do that because this is a freaking cool house, then please let me know in the comments below. And if you really enjoy these mods, then go and give them, uh, give them some love on the Skyrim Nexus. Download them, favorite them, endorse them, whatever. Uh, to show the mod authors that you love them and they are very freaking awesome and that you would be willing to, I don't know, do something for them, bake them cake, uh, bake them potatoes, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, do that. I'll see you guys around. GP75, standing on top of a display case randomly, out. Oh, and uh, quick A-side. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is I'm going to try mixing and matching um, the you know this uh, armor and uh, Frostmourne, uh, you know some of the versions of Frostmourne, uh, some of these weapons. I'm going to try mixing and matching these mods, and if I like the way they look combined, then um, that will be my new sort of official quest for the crown appearance. Uh, much like uh, my knife river uh, river helm <laughs> armor was so yeah whatever I come up with that will be my new quest for the crown appearance so um, I just wanted to get that out there to clear up any sort of discrepancies any questions you may have as to why I look different in one quest for the crown uh, episode as opposed to another one uh, as opposed to like the previous one uh, when you didn't see me change my armor. So yeah, that would be why. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys around. And again, standing randomly on top of a display case, GP75 out.